Wells and yeah. the YouTube contest. So I've always been the one who was the champion. Uh, Daniel DeVito, which is remarkable, and kind of a highlight for me since I was a kid watching the Cookies Next and the Cookies Next and Taxi. Um, so this is a little bit of a surprise, but I'm just happy to be a little outside of the park. Responsibility than just uh, committing to a character and body of the film. Because my guy actually exists 40 some years, and I was talking about it earlier, that every single one of these people are kind of like the unsung heroes of the Austin Forest who sacrifice their families and their homes and their lives essentially to make peace. Um, so it's great to, to honor them. And it's an obligation, uh, and it also allows the masses to get a sense of what the real history was, who was responsible, who's far apart of real and uh, make things win. And, and things kind of fractured and cracked open at the end of the piece. It was, uh, it was an effort and that's what the piece is about for me. It's, it's hope. So everybody in the cast is, is feeling obligated to, to the characters in a more profound way than just the truth. somebody who inspired you early on or mentored you or really helped you become who you are? Mm -hmm. okay. who uh, that yeah, I mean, my, luckily my folks, I think uh, most of the shaping that uh, gets done to an individual is done by the way that they're, they're, they're raised by their mother and father. You know, they were strict and sturdy but supported me in every, in every way and uh, kind of never put me in a box with anything that was creative or wild and I couldn't find a kind of a, a singular path because I was an athlete and I was a little bit of a troublemaker but I was also taking AP classes and being a theater guy so I didn't know what my path was but luckily as an artist you can, you can utilize all these um, crazy faces and to your benefit ideally. Was there something they said to you early on that you remember? You know my mom and dad are always pushing me to maintain kind of integrity you know, to, to fight for the underdog, to um, not allow bullying to happen no matter what fronts it happens, whether it's on the subject, whether it's on the stage, or it's in school. Uh, you know, to really have a backbone to stand up for somebody who needs it. And, and I think that those are great rules to live by. When you do that, you feel like you can, you can breathe better. Besides it, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, guys.